Yeah, so hi, you guys. I can tell you that this incident really rocked this Lake Forest community today. Now, sheriff's officials say that they do believe that the suspect was under the influence. And in speaking with the suspect's roommate, the roommate says that he did see empty bottles of alcohol in his bedroom. <sighs> Some terrifying moments in Lake Forest when a man wielding a pickaxe allegedly went after three people, including his landlord, who feared for his life. He's going to kill me. Authorities say it began when the suspect crashed his car. So this morning at 11.54 a.m., deputies were dispatched to the this area that you can see behind me, 2200 block of Robin Street, where a gray sedan had collided into a house. The driver, who we're told is Tyler Graves, is then seen running back to his home approximately two blocks away and ramming in the door with his shoulder. He's scared. He needs to enter the house as soon as possible, but he entered the wrong passcode. You know, he cannot open the door and he, he tried to use his body, you know, to, to, to break in. Eric Lee rents out rooms in his Pheasant Street home, one of them to Graves. He tells us Graves only moved in about 10 days ago. I saw him, you know. You know, maybe very hurry, you know, <laughs> and a lot of blood in the front head, you know, and I scared, asked him, calm down, please, what happened? What happened? You know, he never answered, you know, just chased me. Lee says Graves chased him into the backyard where he picked up a pickaxe and went after him with the axe. Chase me again, you know. So I crossed the street, asked the neighborhood for help. A roommate tells us Graves went after a gardener in a neighbor's yard and then returned to the house and tried to bang his bedroom door down with the axe. Help you can hear the roommate from inside his bedroom screaming for help while Graves continues to break his door down. The roommate says he called 911 just before Graves got into his room. He kept like hitting it harder and harder. Um, I noticed that he was starting to get tired, so... I tried to look for a good point in time where he might uh, want to take a little break from swinging the axe for a second and when he did that I just uh, swung the door open and kind of disarmed him. He says he had Graves on the ground, took the axe away and then tried to calm him down. The roommate says deputies initially thought that he was the attacker. So I dropped the axe and I uh, got down on the ground and complied with him. Uh, and at that point, the attacker came up behind me while I was laying on the ground, um, and he picked up the axe again. Authorities tell us they used non-lethal force to subdue Graves and take him into custody. And I spoke with Graves' mother tonight, and she says that her son has been experiencing some mental problems. She says only recently he was released from a Costa Mesa facility where he was being held on a 5150 hold. She also says that family members have been trying to help him get back on his feet. For now, reporting live here in Lake Forest, Mary Beth McDade, we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Mary Beth, thank you.